Hi, I'm Miriam Shore, and I'm here at Playbill to talk about season six of Younger. Yay! Season six. I've killed every other show, but not this one. So in the first episode of season six of Younger, Sutton Foster, Hilary Duff, and me, Miriam Shore, we sing uh, 9 to 5 uh, at Marie's Crisis because that's how you solve all problems. I think, sing a little Dolly Parton, problem solved. Tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition, yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping, out on the street the traffic starts jumping, folks like me on the job from 9 to 5. And also it just fulfilled a dream of mine of um, getting to channel Lily Tomlin, who is my spirit animal. Um, I, I just, I love 9 to 5, the movie. I love that song. I think it's a perfect song. Uh, and I, so it was kind of a dream come true. And also the necklace I'm wearing is giant, and I believe it actually reached my navel. So that was a positive in that scene. Oh, have I been to Marie's Crisis? Yes, but the piano, I have, yes. Um, before any of you were born. Um, but I um, was told by the piano, we were told by the piano player there, because uh, Darren Starr was like, let's go, it'll be fun, we'll just show up, we'll sing. And the <laughs> piano player was like, I don't think that's a good idea, because I think if you all show up here, um, it'll just, the whole place will burst into flame. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I kind of want to see that. I'm not going to guarantee. I don't think it would burst into flame if just I showed up. But certainly if Sutton Foster and Hilary Duff showed up, then it might push them the way. Diana's romantic life in season six is so complicated. She's found love with Enzo, the plumber. Um, and, uh, but she, she's conflicted because it doesn't feel like that's who she was supposed to end. It feels like that's who she's supposed to end up with, but it doesn't seem like that to her. And so she's sort of still grappling with that. And um, it's a bit of a rocky road, but, they, but Enzo's around a lot in season six. And um, yeah, the storytelling is pretty great. I really like where it goes. It's interesting for Diana Trout in her career. I think she's feeling a little threatened by this idea that you know, I, I, it's true. It's not even just in our show, but I think that experience doesn't isn't given a lot of value uh, in the workplace these days. Um, and we love youth, and we love new things to the new shiny things to the point where we'll throw the old things out simply because they've been around for a while when in fact there might be something important and there, you know to, to still get from them. So I, I feel like she might be feeling a little bit like, I don't know, I don't know if millennials value what I have to offer, which is a lot. So she's feeling a little at first like, I'm not sure if I can make this work. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna work out for me. I know I'll land on my feet. I just don't know if it'll still be here. So, I mean, she's gotta work through that, but then, for myself a cup of ambition and everything's funny. First of all, The Good Christian Bitch is the musical, sh yes, should happen, should be on Broadway. Kristen Chenoweth should always be on Broadway. Even if there's not a show, she should just turn her, you know, the stage into her apartment and just be like, hi y'all, how you doing? I'm Kristen Chenoweth, I live on Broadway. Broadway doesn't feel like, it feels like a Sunday without the whipped cream. That's just ice cream, that's not a Sunday. Broadway, that's just Broadway. That's not Broadway without Kristen Chenoweth on Broadway. That's how I feel about her. I love her. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be on Broadway. I mean, I got some years left in me. And Broadway's a very welcoming place to women of any age, I feel like, more so than any other part of the entertainment industry. So I love the theater, and I, I'm never gonna say goodbye to that. But I have almost been on Broadway several times, and both times, one with um, Assassins. I was cast in Assassins, but I, was, I had done a TV pilot and it had gotten picked up, and so I couldn't do it. I couldn't do Assassins. And that broke my heart to play Squeaky. This was years ago, and that really broke my heart. And also because Joe Montella was directing. Uh, and then I was, so, you know, I was in Sweat at the Public Theater, um, Lynn Nottage's brilliant play, directed by Kate Worski. Feel it's surprise winning, but she has two now, whatevs. You know, you need the pair. Um, and she, I, I, and that moved to Broadway, and because Younger was happening, I couldn't move to Broadway with it. So there's twice that I missed out on being on Broadway. But I, so I'm gotta think it's gotta happen some, 
having some time. That just came to me. That sounds like a song. I should write it and have Les Minnelli sing it. 